It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today we'll be addressing how I feel there's no good or bad artists and how there's only experience experience levels. And so in the past I used to play this MMO called Mapanogi and various other games that helped me obtain this idea. So stay tuned to the end of the video to get your mind blown. So when we look at MMOs or video games, when we st a player usually starts at level 1 and when we start at level 1, level 1 isn't a innately bad or at the same time it's not an innately good level, it's just level 1. So as a player searches for certain enemies or mobs to gain experience points to gain up levels, to, let's say to get from level 1 to level 30, uh, he'll eventually encounter uh, a beginner mob that's usually placed in video games like like sheep or you know like level one sheep or so and as as that player is combating level one sheep it will get to a point where the player can no longer uh, gain enough experience points to to go beyond level 20 because the sheeps aren't enough of a challenge. It was challenging at the beginning when, when the player was on level 1, but now the sheeps aren't a challenge. So the player has to search for different mobs, different enemies, more powerful mobs, challenges so that the player can go up a level once more and faster. And so at the same time, you don't want to overwhelm yourself when you're looking for these challenges. And so say that you're at level 20 and you're looking to take on a level 2000 dragon. You, you won't be ready to take on that level 2000 dragon. You'll probably die in one hit. So you won't be able to obtain that experience point gain as a level 20 player. So you want to find a sweet spot. And this sweet spot may be a, a level... Let's say you're, you're still level 20 and that, that sweet spot may be uh, an enemy that's that's level 30 or so. That's a, that's a great sweet spot to start. 30 is a challenge and 30 will give you a, a good amount of XP, a good amount of experience points. And so that's similar to, to art. You want to not overwhelm yourself and find a sweet spot in the challenge so that as you as you're growing, you will eventually be ready to take on that level 2000 dragon. And so I can compare this as to how artists can take years to improve because let's say, let's go back to a video game analogy that they keep on uh, facing these lower tier mobs. They're, they're not getting challenged enough. They're not going to another level. They're not seeking new challenges to evolve as, as the player or as artists. Now the difference between leveling in a video game versus real life is that video games have a level cap to say let's say level 100 and real life the level cap is you will keep improving until you know your death arises. There's... And so another point is how do, ca uh, do players level up their character faster in a video game? And so when people level up their character faster they're doing research on for example you know internet research YouTube or Google research on which mobs or enemies give the most experience which location in that MMO world to go to and these people are like really dedicated like they don't eat or sleep you know they're grinding they're focused and at the same time they're having they're having fun in the process so I like to treat improving my art like a video game though I still like to eat and sleep you know and hang out with people every now and then the, the main point to get from it is the the focus and getting in the zone the flow state the the flow state in which you know the the future and the past doesn't doesn't exist and you know just time ceases to exist and what what feel was what feels like you know one hour has passed in actuality you know seven hours passed So depending on your level of focus and the amount of challenges that you receive uh, will determine how fast you improve in the game or as an artist. So what you want to keep in mind is getting uh, different uh, re revenues of knowledge, getting different routes of knowledge. So you may get knowledge you know, from people, YouTubers, books. So when you're getting these <clears throat> different routes of knowledge, you 
you're no longer really reinventing the real because you can learn a lot quickly. Another perspective I like to share is for the artists that are lacking confidence because other people tell them they can't draw or so. I like to invite you to think of life like a simulation, a program simulation, like a video. And so even uh, quantum, in the quantum physics, they're still you know theorizing this concept. And so think of everything you desire being already programmed in our simulation. So if an in-game player says to you that you'll never draw great, you know these words no longer affect you because you understand that this game was programmed for you to achieve level 100 however it depends on you know how mu how focused you want to actually achieve level 100 how focused on you are are you on getting to level 100 and so facing challenges can be fun and everyone likes challenges in video games and we may get our our ass kicked by the final boss 10 times or so but we're so focused and determined and happy and at the same time we know when to take a break we we're when we uh, tire tire ourselves from the constant you know the beat up of that final boss or so we can relate that to burnout and then we try the next day but as we're constantly looking to beat the video game and facing the final boss we're in the we're in that flow state we're in the zone we're focused and we should be careful as to how we label our activities. Mental alchemy is transmuting negative into a positive experience. And so I see my challenges, my art challenges like this. So to get back as to why I don't see good or bad artists, only experience levels, is that level one isn't innately bad or good. It's just a level. And in a world of infinite levels and no level cap, like how we are in, in this real world, when we start to label bad or good artists, it gets to a point where everyone starts to think that they're bad artists. The, the level one artist will think they're bad and think that the level uh, 30 artist is great. And the level 30 artist will think that they're bad and think that the level, one, level 100 artist is great. And the level 100 artists will think that they're bad and think that the, the level 180 artists is good. And in a world of uh, infinite levels and constant improvement, there will be an endless cycle of feeling bad. And this, I feel, is the root cause of the I'm not good enough syndrome among artists. So I only see in terms of levels. And I only and I only use uh, level so and so artists just as an example, but remember that levels aren't innately good or bad. And something extra to, to just uh, throw out there: I also see art styles in terms of class systems. So so class systems in a in an MMO it would be like a, a warrior class, a, a mage class, a healer class, a alchemist class, and so. In an MMO, there are a, a limited, there's like a, a, a cap level, there's like a limited amount of classes that you can, you know, acquire. However, in, you know, actual life, there are, you know, an, an infinite amount of, of styles you can acquire. And, and styles are unique to the individual when it comes to art. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below how you feel about this idea. Do you feel that this perspective is will benefit you? Do you feel that it's, it's crazy? Let me know. Comments below. Peace.